The WVU Falling Run Greenscape spans 60 acres with 2.6 miles of trails for outdoor activities. Today, the Falling Run program is hosting a volunteer tree planting party to create its first tiny forest, a dense, fast-growing native woodland about the size of a tennis court. Energy scientist Jessica Schaefer says that tiny forests provide benefits for the surrounding area. Planting any tree is going to increase biodiversity in the area as well as um, filter the air that we breathe. Uh, but the advantage of the tiny forest is that they, uh, the forest grows up quickly. So the advantage of having the forest grow up quickly means that you're creating habitat in a very short period of time. And uh, that is something that you don't get with a normal tree planting. According to reports from the New York Times, tiny forests can absorb carbon dioxide, clean the air, and provide nutrients for the wildlife. But aside from just the environmental benefits, the tree planting party also provided benefits for those who volunteered. Nature and you know things like that have always been dear, near and dear to my heart. So uh, giving, being able to give back to the community in a nature way is, is just important to me. The tiny forest will continue being built for the next two weeks before winter hits here in Morgantown. For Mountaineer Playbook, I'm Trent Lewis. Some say that size matters, but does it really? I'm Trent Lewis, and I'm going to tell you about the program building a tiny forest near campus. Mountaineer Playbook starts now. Some say that size matters, but does it really? Coming up on Mountaineer Playbook, I'm Trent Lewis, and I'm going to tell you about the program building a tiny forest near campus. Some say size matters, but does it really? I'm Trent Lewis, and coming up after the break, I'm going to tell you about the program building a tiny forest near campus.